Alright, let's get started. For question 1, your task is to remove all of the empty rows from the dataset. To start, go ahead and select all of the data with your mouse. With the data selected, go to Data, and then Create a Filter. At this point, click on any one of the filter buttons, select Clear, and then Blanks, and then click OK. Next, select all of the filtered empty rows, right-click, and delete the selected rows. You can then go to Data and remove the filter. All of the blank rows are now gone. Awesome. Let's move on to question number two. For question two, you must remove any duplicate records from the dataset. To pull this off, start by selecting all of the data. After that, go to Data, Data Cleanup, and remove duplicates. Check the box next to Data Has Header Row, and then click Remove Duplicates. Google Sheets will let you know how many duplicates have been removed and how many unique rows remain. You can then click on OK. And now all of the duplicates are gone. Fantastic. Let's move on to question number three. For question three, your goal is to write a line and then also adjust the number formatting for the start date and salary fields. Let's start with the alignment. Select columns F and G, and then use the toolbar to change the alignment to right. Next, let's format the dates. Go ahead and select all of the dates in F5 through F25, then click on the More Formats button in the toolbar, and select Date. Now if you don't like this particular date format, you can always click on the More Formats button again and then select Custom Date and Time. You can then look for a date format that fits your preference, select that format, and then click on Apply. The dates are now formatted. Let's format the salary numbers next. Select all of the salaries in G5 through G25, and then click on the Format as Currency button in the toolbar. And with that, you are finished with question three. Let's move on to the final question. For question four, you must split the work location field into three fields of data. Those fields should be city, state, and country. To pull this off, go ahead and select columns D and E. Then right click and insert two columns to the right. After that, go ahead and change cell E4 to city. And then Enter state into cell F4, and enter country into cell G4. Next, select all of the location data in E5 through E25. Then, go to data and split text to columns. Google Sheets will pick up on the delimiter automatically and split up the data for you. And just like that, you are finished with question number four and your eighth Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets challenge.